if you are interested in psychology, how it works, right? I think to really fully understand it, we have to understand like both sides. We have psychology and we have astrology. Now, for example, in psychology, we have different characters, but it's not just different characters. It is just like we have in astrology, we have sun, moon, rising and Mars. Now, Mars represents your actions. So this is your Mars sign. Your rising is your character and the moon is the heart. Okay. Now your moon sign represents your heart. This is how you are deep down. Then we also have a rising which represents your character and Mars that represents our action and our will. So it's really all about the moon represents the heart. The sun represents how we express ourselves. Rising represents our character and Mars represents our actions. It's, you see, it's really interesting once you start uh, combining both. Just like, for example, how we have seven major glands in our body, but we also have seven major chakras. And one is physical expression, another is like spiritual expression, we can say. What most people only understand about astrology is someone sun sign, right? That's what you see in horoscope. That's your sun sign. Now, this is how we express ourselves to the world, how we perceive it. Now, you know, and this is just how duality works, I guess. <laughs> it's interesting. Sometimes the things are opposite as they seem. At the end of the day, it's all about understanding. And sometimes we can't even understand others, you know, because we can't. It's, we are experiencing different box, we could say. <laughs>